seriously can't believe it. I just filmed the best intro and outro. And then I go to my camera roll. I'm getting ready to edit this video. Look at the video. And I had lunch all in my teeth. Seriously. And because I can't do that to you, we're going to refilm the intro and outro for you. Okay. Let's have a go at this. Round two. Hello friend, I hope you're having a wonderful day. And today we're going to be talking really quickly about one little tiny tool that is going to change your life because I know that it changed mine. If you have an air pump, maybe use it for your sponge filter or your air stone. When you first plugged it up, you probably found that the stream of bubbles was way too much, just way too much. It turned your tank into the rapids and your betta, if you had a bed in there, probably started blowing around and going crazy. So today I'm here to tell you that the solution isn't even an inch long. In fact, it is the smallest little piece of plastic you'll probably ever see. But let's go ahead and get into it because I know that you're anxious just as I was to get this thing fixed. Let's head on over to the tank and I will show you. This little thing right here is about to be your best friend. You may recognize it, you may not. If you don't, this is a little air flow valve. Usually one of these will come with your air pump, but if, you, if it doesn't, it will also come with airline tubing when you buy it. And if for some really odd reason, either they came with it and you threw it away thinking it wasn't important or you bought some airline tubing in a pump, and you did not receive one, they're really cheap. They're usually a dollar or two each on Amazon. I will leave a link to it in the description for you. But this is crazy easy to install. So if you already have an air pump, excuse the dust, it is just, this is real life. I'm being real with you. I need to dust that. Let's say you have this hooked up already. You have the airline tubing. This is not here, so it just is one consistent piece of tubing flowing all the way up and down into the tank. And it's probably hooked up to your sponge filter or maybe an air stone if you have it. And it's just putting out way too many bubbles. And that's because usually these air pumps right here, they don't have their own little control valve. You cannot control the amount of pressure and air that it puts out. So naturally you're going to get an insane amount of bubbles. Just an absolutely insane amount and we can't have that because your betta fish cannot thrive in those conditions so how do you fix it you add one of these so what you want to do is anywhere along this line cut it in half i recommend doing it close to the air pump and if i'm being completely honest i really don't know why i have two of these you only need one i don't know when or how that happened i am just now seeing this for the first time you only need one so what you're going to do is you're going to cut it at any point you want just take some scissors cut cut it in half take this valve and then insert it in between the two so reattach both ends to this little valve here and then all you need to do is turn it left to allow more of a airflow and turn it right to tighten it and lessen the airflow i'll demonstrate it by showing you where the bubbles come up right over here so i want you to watch this and i'm going to twist it to the left boom it's crazy it's a big flow of bubbles it's it's wild it looks like a volcano <laughs> it's pushing everything out it's obviously way too strong for a betta fish and all you have to do to lessen it is turn this little valve to the right again, righty tighty, and then it is back down to the normal flow rate. This is what you need for a betta fish. I don't know about any other fish, but I know that for bettas, they like water that is still, but this will still put out a really good amount. So as far as how much to twist it to the left, I can really only tell you to eyeball it because for some people it'll be different, but really you just want a small stream of bubbles, kind of like this, if you can see it. And you want the top to be just slightly disturbed. That way you won't have any bioform filming on the surface of your tank, but you don't want it to be so strong that it starts blowing everything around and your betta starts not being able to stay in one place. So you will know, you'll know. But that's it, it's just this little tiny piece and I really wanted to hop on here and share it with you today 
because I have recently talked to a few people where they did not know this existed. They had absolutely no idea that their fix was only a couple of dollars or maybe even free because they may have, like I said earlier, gotten this piece and just had it in their drawer. I did forever. But what I do is I would chip clip it in the middle and chip clip it hard to where it would just kind of kink this line right here. It wasn't attractive, it was not attractive at all. There you have it. The easiest solution ever and maybe you have it or if you have to buy it it is very inexpensive so I hope you got a little something out of this video if you enjoyed it and this is your first time feel free to hit subscribe and stick around I would love to have you as a part of the family and if you haven't yet go to the description and join my free Facebook group the Betafish forum it is a wonderful place to meet and talk with fellow Betafish keepers in all walks of life so I do hope you'll check that out if you have not yet all right, friend, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that if you're new, I will see you soon. Bye.